Alright, welcome to a super simple video on how to modify the timing cover on your Geo Metro for quicker adjustments and also to make it look awesome and also to make it easier to access uh, things that you need uh, when you need them. So, basic idea is the timing cover is this guy. Uh, it's covering up your timing belt, uh, which makes it impossible to inspect. Um, also, it makes it difficult to advance the timing if that's something that you're into. Uh, so what we're going to do is remove the timing cover, shorten it uh, to make it just basically the middle section. So the first step in doing that is going to be to remove this big pulley right here. So you're going to remove all five of these little guys right here uh, around that giant 17 millimeter nut. And these are all like little tiny eight ones. Okay, so the next step is you gotta remove, if you have AC, this is my AC compressor, you gotta remove this belt, and I forgot, it's, there's this tensioner here, it's actually really simple, you just slide it off of that tensioner. Step number two is you're going to loosen the alternator uh, adjustment bolt right here. There's a bolt, but it comes in from the other side, so you need a deep well socket coming in, like, from here, coming in there. And you're going to just loosen that up, and what that does is that allows you to pull the alternator back and forth. So we're going to pull the alternator toward the engine. There you go. See, I got my hands on it. I don't know if you can tell, but I moved it like two inches in. So now, this belt's nice and loose. We can slip it off. Okay, next step, you're going to undo the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold on your water pump pulley, and remove it like this. All right, timing cover's off, and they were 10 millimeter bolts. So we got one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this one in the middle. Okay, here's your cover. It's long and big and, and whatever. And mine's getting chopped through by belts because I don't know, I guess it got warped. It does look warped to me, so I think that's what's going on. What we need is obviously you need these timing marks, and I'm gonna hit those with just some white paint just because I think it would be easier for me to see it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to retain this section right here. So from that bolt to that bolt. And that's going to be our timing cover, okay? This isn't providing any kind of protection, you know, really at all. So I'm not worried about that. Um, you know, get the belt being exposed down there, that's fine. And uh, this is just, you know, covering it. So that's not really that big a deal. Obviously we don't want this to be sitting right above the timing belt, so I'll use these little clippy deals that are down here that I'll, I'll install it so that it runs on this side. That's my plan, and really, I can't see why you wouldn't be able to change a timing belt in like 15 minutes with it all exposed like this. And then also you can just inspect it for damage a lot easier and stuff. Plus, the engine's gonna look cooler, especially when it's running. So, we're gonna give that a go. Let's see if we can do it. So there's really a number of ways we could cut this, uh, and I went through a few different ideas, but I'm gonna go with the, the death wheel because I feel like I'm doing car repair right whenever I get to use this. So we're gonna use the death wheel. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, it's actually called an angle grinder. You can buy them at Harbor Freight for like 10 bucks, which is awesome, and that's how I recommend you buy them. And then there's various different kinds of cutting wheels. These are great for cutting metal in like every circumstance, so they're good. You should wear eye protection. What we're gonna do is just cut a straight line right across there, and then one down here. So I'm gonna get to work. Looks pretty pro and that didn't take long at all. So now I'm going to just trim this business. I'll just hit that with some sandpaper just to clean it up a little bit. But that's gonna be my new timing cover. Okay, now I've cleaned it, um, cause that is important for making paint stick. I've got just, it's just testers model paint because that's what I have on hand. You could probably do this with anything. And I have a tiny little brush. So what we're gonna do, shake this up real good try to open it. Sometimes it gets kind of glued shut with paint. Oh, no, that was easy. Because I'm strong. And we're going to just dip this and then wipe the paint on the edge of the bottle to get it just on there. Not a lot, but a little. And then we're going to just drag it across. light with the paint. That looks 
good. Okay, now we're gonna mark do the ten marks. All right, I'm really pleased with that. So there we go. It's not perfect, but it'll look great under a timing light, and it will be seen in no other circumstances. All right, same deal on the crankshaft pulley because check him out. It's got this little notch that's like impossible to see. We're gonna make that mark a bunch easier to see. Yeah, that's way better, right? Okay, so check it out. Updated timing cover, it looks good. What we're gonna do is reinstall it. It's gonna go right about like that. And of course the big pulley will be there and I think it's gonna look really good. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and Bolt it in, it's just gonna need those two 10 millimeter bolts and I think the whole thing's gonna turn out really nice.